I'm Kristen Johnson, and this is my maker story. I love to use flowers in decor. They don't wilt, they don't lose their shape, they don't fade. It's just something so sweet and innocent about flowers. The idea for hanging flowers on a branch really came in when a friend of mine was looking for nursery decor. So I thought, why don't we bring nature and something beautiful like flowers into this space? The whole room was decorated except for over the crib, and I thought, wouldn't that be the perfect spot for cascading flowers over her little bundle of joy? Because we're using paper, we have so much flexibility. So let me show you how to make these hanging flowers for your next party. So the first thing you'll need is a branch. And now depending on your project or where this is going to hang, you might want it a little wider. Today we're going to use a little bit of a smaller one. You'll also need twine. Any of those will work for this project. Depending on what you're going to use this project for, if your installation is going behind a cake, for instance, you're going to want it a little shorter because of that table. If it's for a photo booth backdrop opportunity, make sure it's nice and long. Depending on what you're using it for, cut it to that length. I'm going to tie this twine around my branch. It's very simple. Do not overthink this. You're going to wrap it underneath your branch, knot it once through, and then make sure in case someone were to pull on this that things don't fall off, Go ahead and get it, give it an extra knot. We're gonna go ahead and attach the rest of them. If you need to add more or take some away, feel free to do so. If you want a cleaner look, feel free to cut the tails. And now we're ready to make our pom-pom flower. This is such a fun and easy flower. You're gonna take your paper, you're gonna fold it on itself. Depending on how big you want your pom-pom will depend on how wide you want your paper. We don't want them very big, so we're gonna do about an inch and a half to two inches of a fold over, and we're gonna cut it right along the line. So now all we have to do is take our scissors and cut a line straight down. Make sure not to cut all the way to the bottom. You wanna leave a little bit of room so that it doesn't go completely off of the paper. And now you're just gonna continue this cut all the way down the paper. So this length will actually make two. So I'm going to cut it right down the middle. The next step is to roll it on itself. First, you're gonna need some glue. We're gonna put just a spot of glue so that when we roll it on itself, it will stay. As you go along, you're gonna add a little bit of glue every little bit. When you come to the tail, put your glue there and then roll it all the way around holding it in place. Your flower will then look like this. What you're going to do is you're gonna pull back each petal, if you will, down. This will start to make it open or blossom, and you continue to do that all the way around. When attaching my flowers to my branch and twine, I like to first lay it out. This way, I'm able to visualize how I'm gonna like it. Once I've picked the spots that I want it to be in, I can then tie them. You're gonna take your twine, put it around the base of your flower, and tie a knot. For extra hold, just add a drop of hot glue right where the knot is. You can use all pom-pom flowers or introduce other paper flowers for a variety of texture and color. Now all that's left to do is hang it up and you have the perfect paper flower backdrop. Subscribe to our channel and share your projects using the hashtag MakeItWithMichaels.